this group that it seemed like it had been figured out with FPX at the top. Everyone in this group is now one and one. This time, the the J-Team picking up the kills. They pick up the Baron. J-Team takes down Fun Plus Phoenix. This team is probably the most important game, and since they won against FPX and we lost, that means they are one game ahead. So it's really important to get a win on every single game. Getting a win against Griffin, it will matter a lot. Me against Shovi is going to be a really spicy matchup because we both like to win lane and we both like to take risks. Yeah, Ignite goes down onto Niski here, but Niski gets the kill. Haven't completed item yet. Here goes Shovi, lands the Vanguard, yeah, just counts, flashes away. That was beautiful. We are really hoping to get the first win. When we get the first win, it's the beginning of the I can see them like getting some good plays in the early game. Just how we've played the entire year makes me believe that it's going to be hard for us to actually lose a game to them. But I can see us like having to fight for it. And one of the tournament favorites takes care of business. Manic, show what Europe can do, and they find their first win. On one hand, I'm really, really happy that we actually won the game, but at the same time, I'm pretty frustrated and sad to see how poor our early games have been. Soon we are going to go up against RNG, and RNG is not going to make our lives easy. Shut down over the Uzi, and RNG strike back! I think SKT should be still the best team in Group C. And if we actually take down SKT, that means like we're going to be the best team in Group C. We always play better when our backs are against the wall. So now that we're 0-2, you're going to see us play a lot better. On the hill, ECC coming through, and that cat is out of there! Time and time again, we just beat teams that are considered better than us, and I don't see why we can do it versus good team.